Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an apple. I'm going to show you how to model the apple and then I'm going to provide you with a texture map that we're going to use to texture the apple. So let's get started. Let's open up Maya and we're going to create a polygon sphere. So we're going to create a polygon primitives sphere. Okay. Press 5 on the keyboard. We're going to set it to 15 by 15. Okay. I'm going to select faces. First, I'm going to double click on the move tool. Scroll down. And I'm going to select drag select. This is just a preference thing. You don't have to do that. Okay, so I'm going to select all the top faces. I'm also going to click 3 on the keyboard. I'm going to drag that down. I'm going to press B for soft selection. What I'm doing is reducing the radius right now. Let me select the whole object instead and scale it. Scale that up. Okay, let's select the faces. Move those down. We're going to do the same with the bottom. We're going to grow the selection. And scale those those faces down a little. What we're doing is just shaping the just creating the shape of the apple. Select edges, and we're going to select the few edges. Turn soft selection off for this. Select a few edges here and there. Now move those up. I'm doing this really quickly. I mean, you can take your time and fine tune the shape of the apple. Let's do the same with the bottom. Select a few edges. And move those down. Okay, let's, let's select the, these faces. And what we're going to do is go to Edit Mesh Extrude. I'm going to scale that up, down. I'm going to press G and W. G one more time to extrude. Let me rotate this. Maybe the other way. Grab. Maybe G one more time and screw it a little. One last time. Okay, so we have the the shape of the apple. Then we're gonna create the UV so that we can texture the apple. So first go to create UVs and choose planar mapping. Now go to edge mode and double click this. 
double click there make sure that the whole loop is selected like this way ok now go to window and we're going to UV texture editor we're going to here and then cut UV edges now back there and on fall now let's choose layout select this select the whole shell now this and that brings up this menu we can call it uh, and just click and drag where it says on fall Same with the other one. Now we have a problem here is that we have some overlapping here. So we want to fix that. We don't have we don't want to have overlapping. So we'll maybe choose that point and go to the on fault menu and choose pin selected UV. Sometimes that's not necessarily going to fix it, but we can try to unfold again. You can see that it helps with the issue. Now we still have some overlapping, so we're going to have to maybe select an area and press W and grab it and move that so that we don't have any overlapping. We don't want to have overlapping here. Maybe use the relax sometimes helps. So make we're gonna make this more a little more cleaner. Select this one. There you go. It makes makes everything it makes it makes it better. Now we're gonna do the same with this one. I'm gonna select one single point. Maybe this time I'm gonna select a loop. Maybe that makes a difference. We're gonna say menu. Say apply, select the whole thing, and unfold. There's another way to fix this, but I'm, I'm showing you this way just so you know that you have this. You have the choice of fixing it this way. So you rotate that, move that up. Okay, so now we can select both. Let's go back to layout one more time. Okay, so that's that's fine now. Now let's assign new material to the apple. Let me choose a blue material. That's going to open up this window here. So let's look for that new material. You can name it. I'm going to name it apple. Now color, click on the checker box. I'm gonna choose a PSD file because that's the kind of file that I'm using. Okay, now we have a texture. Now click here, or you can press 6 on your keyboard. Now what we can see is that obviously the texture doesn't line up with the UVs. So let's open that that up again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
Oops. Right. We're gonna try to line this up with the with the image. I'm just gonna scale this up, this down. If you want it to be really perfect, um, you can just move points and line them up with the image. So what you're gonna see here is uh, you have a seam. You're gonna get that unless you took this to like a 3D projection painting, like ZBrush or Mapbox. So that's basically how you make the app. I'm not going to show you any rendering, uh, but this is how you would make it.